folks have had one of my good friends uh, ask me a question about my setup of my workspace. So this is not typically what you see when you go to one of my uh, tutorial videos. Now he's having trouble getting his screen to look like mine. And so there may be something a little bit wrong with the way his preset's set up. So we're going to go through this and we're going to try to look at what the problem could be. As you know, if you watch any of my Premiere Pro tutorials, and this is the 2014 uh, CC version of Premiere Pro, you usually go up here to Window and Workspace, and I go to Editing CS 5.5. So that is the workspace that I like. Now I've already imported a uh, file in here. I might just double click and import another one just so we have a couple different files. This is where I have my recent video I did called Hummingbird Swarm Like Gnats. So I'll go ahead and pull this in. Now, he's doing CS 5.5 setup, setup, and it's not giving him this look. And so I don't know if, if his uh, setup files may have gotten corrupted or something, but hopefully he is seeing a lot of these same windows. You see you got source here. What I do, I, I usually have source and effects and audio track. And you know what? I almost never use this. This could be closed. And how do you close one of these things? Well, you can click on that, and it goes away in metadata. Um, I, you know, I, I always forget that metadata is here. This is pretty powerful to be able to go in and see all this information. <laughs> it's, so it's always open on mine. I don't even realize it's there. I usually go over here and right-click and go to properties. So I don't want to like, digress everything. But here's all this interesting, cool stuff that's here about your video. So anyway, uh, once again, let's go back over to source. The main thing is when you're following my tutorials is you got source here, you got program here. The way he was t he was telling me something, it looked like maybe his source was over here. Now, as you can see, you can if there's this little bitty gray space right here with like five little lines on that tiny little mess right there. You can grab that and you can move any of these windows around to any place you want to do. And I've I've been very remiss or amiss or whatever the word is by not pointing this out in, in previous videos so if you're having trouble getting your stuff to look like mine you can pull these things around in all kinds of different ways now right now you know the way i like to do it, i'm gonna go back again to window or to workspace and i'm going to go to uh okay so he's, i see what's probably happened with his thing is he's going to that and right now his workspace is probably got changed you probably moved something around so this could be the, the very answer to what's going on because I'm going to go back and say reset current workspace are you sure you want to reset to the original layout I'm going to say yes now look at that that might be the answer to what's happened it could be that he's taken that he's edited his workspace in some way maybe he's grabbed some stuff and moved it around it's all crisscrossed and one thing's up here and the other thing's down here because there's all these different ways you can do this right so this 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 looks this is terrible. So like he's he he has sent me a message say he's out in the woods, <laughs> having trouble following my work my workspace. Looks like this might be the answer here, because right now I can see I'm I am still when I go I'm still in editing CS 5.5, but I've actually uh, changed my 5.5 setup. So I'm gonna go back to reset current workspace. Are you sure you want to reset editing CS 5.5 to its original layout? Yes. Boom. Boy, that will solve. A lot of people's issues if they're having trouble getting the exact workspace that I use. Folks, hopefully that's answered the question. Uh, this is exactly how I work here. Uh, for me, I like to have effects over here because so I can real quickly get to my effects. You know, there's various different things that I've done, I guess, in the past to mine. But so there you go. Now you can put your uh, new sequence in, and here'll be your timeline. Your timeline's going to shut down here, and we can pull videos in. We can hit the C key, and we can cut them four or five different ways. Uh, and then we can take bits out, ripple delete, and all that cool stuff I've been showing you on the videos. Hopefully that helps folks if you have any trouble following my workspace. Thanks.